Hello and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 3rd, 2021. Before I start my program today, I would actually like to thank all my subscribers and all my viewers for reviewing my content. I highly appreciate it and would encourage any new viewers to also view my content because it will inform you on what is going on with the government as well as any stimulus plans or proposals that may be coming forward from them. And without any further ado, as far as the stimulus goes, we have Senate Democrats push forward on with the $1.9 trillion stimulus bill to begin the reconciliation process. This was a vote of 50 to 49 because Republican Senator Pat Toomey was not present because of a snow delay. And I wouldn't be surprised to see if more of those happen over the next few weeks because they're in Washington, D.C., and I'm guessing I'm hearing they're getting hit pretty hard. The resolution will be debated for more than 50 hours, and all 100 senators will have the op options to propose amendments during that time. So basically, when they the when they're 50 hours and they debate the res the, the um reconciliation process. All the senators, all 100 of them, Republican and Democrat, will be able to add their thoughts as far as amendments go and other information. At the point of the that, they will vote on the resolution as well as any amendments, which will start the 20-hour debate. That's right, so you got 50 hours first, 20 hours a second. But we'll start the 20-hour debate over reconciliation leading up to another set of votes on various amendments and keep in mind each of these amendments have to be voted on separately but the republicans would need every member of the party and oh sorry, i meant the democrats my bad my bad the democrats would need every member of their party and the two independents to uh, to carry majority assuming no republicans get on board with the Democrats idea. With the Senate impeachment trials going on over the next few weeks, it may take them one month to six weeks to um, get through the reconciliation process. Over 100 Democrats in the House and the Senate both wrote a letter to Pelosi and Schumer expressing concerns about a costly tax break that was slipped into the CARES Act by the Republicans, here's the copy letter. I'm going to show you that over this wrote, so you can read what they said. But what they're basically saying is that the money that can be saved by repealing this this uh, tax break would actually put about 340 billion dollars that they could put into the 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus package to bring the cost down. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Let's read this note. Democrats see this tax cut as an unnecessary kickback for rich. Biden, in a press conference this morning, told the reporters that he would not break his promise to the American people. Unless he's planning to give us the additional $1,400 of the $2,000 that we haven't gotten yet. Joe Manson said that he would not support the minimum wage increase to $15 an hour because he believes $11 is sufficient. I don't think that's true, but Joe Manchin is seems to be more like a Republican than a Democrat nowadays anyway. The Democrats will need all 50 votes to pass the stimulus bill. If Manchin votes no, he will basically be the one who is single-handedly responsible for killing the stimulus package. If that doesn't suck, right? I mean, they're still talking about the peace the Trump impeachment trials, which is going to take place, I think, next Monday. No, the 9th, which isn't Monday. It is, where is it Monday? Six days. Yeah, I think it's Monday of next week, basically. And as you probably noticed, I mean, you've heard about how Trump's first set of uh, legal advisors to this thing has basically quit because, of course, money. They originally wanted uh, $3 million dollars to proceed with the thing and Trump negotiated them down to $1 million and he didn't want to go with the the, the original idea of, of them defending them. 
he wanted them him to get them to go off the voter fraud stuff. So they basically said no and they quit. So he hired two new people and they seem to be have an interesting defense for him. Doesn't it doesn't revolve around the um the voter fraud thing. It involves rather the the fact that they think it's unconstitutional for him to be tried for a sedition when he's no longer the president of the United States. This whole impeachment process isn't just to put a bad mark on his name, it's to prevent him from ever running for office again in the United States. Therefore, he would not be able to run for president if he got impeached. So we, I, I'm hoping that they'll basically pass that and they'll impeach him so we never have to worry about him getting into president again. But the only problem with that is, is I do not believe that will even pass because I don't think the Senate Republicans will actually pass that because they are sort of afraid of him and they're basically afraid of him basically is what it is. So I don't think they'll actually gonna impeach him. But we'll find out over the next couple of weeks and as the time goes on, I will keep you guys informed as I always do. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Have an excellent Wednesday. And I'll broadcast again to you soon. Till then, bye.